In a cast of mostly warriors, one certain Autobot always stands out from the rest, and that is Prowl, the cold and calculating strategist. Prowl has become one of the most well-known Transformers characters, and has had many appearances in various continuities, and while at times changing drastically from his original self, never ceased to be awesome. In this video, we're going to be counting down my top 5 favourite incarnations of Prowl. Well, this one's a bit of a continuity headache. For those who don't know, Prowl 2 is one convoluted character. He was created when Prowl showed up in the Headmasters cartoon, despite having been killed in Transformers the movie. To try and explain away this inconsistency, the Tech continuity introduced the character Prowl 2, a clone of Prowl that contained his memories. Things became even more complicated in Beast Wars, however, as another two characters showed up with the name Prowl. The first was part of the combiner Magnaboss, and IDW's Beast Wars sourcebook identified him as an upgraded version of the original character. However, another Prowl, who was also said to be the original character, as the book states he was a great military strategist in his former life, was introduced, and as a result the latter was given the Prowl 2 title. This causes even more confusion as the Beast Wars and Binaltech storylines are not in the same continuity. It was finally explained in the manga Controverse, which explained that the Prowl from the Binaltech universe travelled into the normal Generation 1 time stream and converted into a body resembling the original Prowl from that dimension, explaining away his appearance in the Headmasters and the Beast Wars Prowls. So why is Prowl 2 on this list? I don't know, I just like the confusion behind the characters. Oh, and the Beast Wars Prowl is kinda cool. Not th this one, not not the other one. That one sucks. The, the, that one, the, the, the owl one. The, the Prowl. <laughs> He's just like his Generation 1 self, being a brilliant strategist who analyzes information and uses it to his advantage. He hasn't had many fictional appearances, but I thought he was cool enough to include on this list. But that's not even to mention the other Prowl 2. Well, this is a first. Having a more comedic take on its cast of characters, Robots in Disguise presented us with an all new Prowl to the one we were all used to. Though remaining a police car, Prowl became the more serious one of the three Autobot brothers, having an obsession with following the rules and regulations of both Cybertronian and Earth rules. He'd be great friends with Strongarm. Throughout the series, we are treated to many hilarious scenes of Prowl trying to discipline his disobedient brother Sideburn. Despite his very Ultra Magnus-like personality, Prowl is a fearsome warrior, and though everyone in Rid kinda just does the same thing over and over while shouting out attack names, Prowl was never one to back down from a fight, having some really cool fight scenes in the show. Easily my favourite character to come out of the show, the Robots in Disguise incarnation of Prowl is a more light-hearted version of his original Generation 1 self, and I have to love him for that. Speaking of his original Generation 1 self, Prowl is always an interesting character right from the very beginning. And personally, I believe he has one of the coolest designs of the 1984 cast. A transforming robot police car, what's not to love? It's a pity that Prowl's character was so untouched throughout the original series, but his original incarnation set the foundation and personality traits that would be improved and expanded upon with future versions of him. But though his character was toned down and very dull in the original cartoon, being more of a crowd filler if anything, the Prowl in the Marvel comics was an interesting strategist, one that was willing to take more extreme means of solving problems than that of his other Autobots, leading to him coming off as rude and self-centered, a trait that would lend itself to future depictions of his character. Though not serving a massive role in either main portrayals of the original series, Prowl did have some interesting moments in the Marvel comics, such as his proposal to Optimus to create his ultimate Autobots, machines designed to be fierce warriors that he claimed would instantly wipe out the Decepticons without fail, a good example of what his mentality is like. His offer was declined, however. 
Oh, and there was that one time when he single-handedly defeated a time-traveling Megatron who had possessed Snaptrap's body by tricking him into thinking he was Optimus Prime. Yep, it makes no sense to me either, don't worry. But it just shows that Prowl was able to handle himself in a fight. While not a skilled fighter, a brilliant strategist. In the earlier issues of the Marvel comic, Prowl didn't have much of a main role. And at some point in the comic, after the Underbase saga, he was put out of commission for unknown reasons. He returned and served as a main character during the end of the series after the Unicron battle, being one of the last remaining Autobots alive, and as such reverted to being the one to resort to extreme measures when the Autobots were put in a world without Optimus Prime. He acted as a pessimistic control freak, and one that was not very well liked by both readers and characters in the story. But that's what made Prowl such a compelling and awesome character. As animated is so good at doing, it presented yet another unique and original take on a familiar character. The prow of animated is no longer a stuck-up police car, instead a silent ninja. All he shares with his original incarnation is the name, as this prowl sports a new design, colour, alternate mode, personality, and mindset. Prowl was easily one of the most compelling and interesting characters to come out of animated, and he received his fair share of episodes dedicated to growing his character, and his entire character arc was certainly an intriguing one. Prowl began the show being a loner, and was accidentally stumbled upon by Optimus Prime as he was trying to train. Initially, the team found difficulty getting along with Prowl until their arrival on Earth, and he was forced to begrudgingly get on with his fellow teammates. However, Prowl quickly grew to form bonds with all of them, most interestingly Bumblebee. In certain episodes we see Prowl training Bumblebee and teaching him his skills, that of his cyber ninja training. He spends the entire show trying to master the art of processor over matter. Prowl also had a very interesting relationship with Lockdown, as the Bounty Hunter offered him dangerous new weapons and armor in the episode of Fistful of Energon, and was even offered a partnership by Lockdown. But eventually he did what was right and declined, returning his weapons in the end. This would teach Prowl an important lesson, one of the many he learned throughout the course of the show. Prowl's sacrifice at the end of the show was a tragic and meaningful moment. He restored the old spark in order to shift the tide of the final battle, though extinguished his spark in the process. Even in death, however, he managed to help others, appearing as a ghost to save Optimus from certain death one last time before he was truly gone. Animated had very little deaths, and for good reason. The ones that did occur were even more tragic, and Prowl is a fantastic example of this. It was both a happy and sad ending for him, and he died in peace, saving everyone he cared about and finally completing his goal of processor over matter in the process. Watching Prowl's stillness and grace when training, fighting, or even passing on his wisdom to others, he remained one of the most interesting characters in the show, and despite the drastic change in character from the original Prowl, I think the animated Prowl was certainly an improvement over past incarnations and earns the right to bear the name of such an awesome character. I know I give IDW the number one spot quite often in these videos, but no character that I've covered so far from the IDW continuity deserves this spot more than IDW's Prowl. IDW took everything good about the original Prowl and improved it by tenfold, making him one of the most ingenious and interesting characters in the all of Transformers. He began in the Infiltration comics, heavily resembling his Generation 1 self, though as IDW's continuity developed, we see Prowl transform into this character that is completely unpredictable. In Robots in Disguise, though being controlled by Bombshell at the time, he seemed to act on his own, and it made you question whose side he was truly on. His appearances in more recent issues, such as Sins of the Wreckers, reveals that he is on his own side. Prowl is loyal to no one but himself. That's what makes him almost scary. He's hard to read and it's tough deciding whether he's a hero or a villain, whether his goals are to assist others, or whether they're just to help himself. Though Prowl went through a short redemption period on Earth due to a change in writers, he resumed his cold and calculating personality very quickly, and from there acted as a mastermind behind the scenes throughout a majority of the events in Robots in Disguise. Most of all, however, his history with Chrome Dome was incredibly interesting to uncover, and considering Prowl goes from this to this, just shows how much his character has changed. He's one of the most well-written and developed IDW characters. Also, he likes flipping tables. Like, a lot. He, he loves, loves flipping tables. He's an absolute jerk, and it should be impossible for him to be likable. And yet, I personally find him undoubtedly the best incarnation of Prowl, and overall a fantastic character. Even if Ironhide wouldn't agree. Or Springer. Or Cup. Or... Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed, 
and be sure to vote in the poll in the info tab as to who you want to see an incarnation video on next. Thanks, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Diamond Bolt out.